Rich Toronto with TMC, we're at CES 2012. We are going to check out uh, Q2 from Armour, and we've got Paul McCarthy here with us. Uh, Paul, how are you? Yeah, I'm great, thanks Rich. So tell me about Q2. Q2, it's, uh, it's the world's simplest, but we also believe coolest, uh, Wi-Fi internet radio. Okay, tell me, why is it simple, why is it cool? Okay, can I, can I show you, Rich? Please, please, okay. be my guest. Simply, all you do to switch the uh, radio on is put it on one side to increase the volume. You just simply tilt it back to decrease the volume. You simply tilt it forward. And then to change the station, you simply just flip the cube. Very, very cool. So I mean, it's almost something like uh, you would see uh, in, in an Apple device, right? Absolutely, with, with yeah. The swipes and the intuitive way of just getting yeah. your device to do different things. Yeah. So but with a radio, you know, if you go back to the traditional days of radio where you had a volume and you had, uh, let's say, something to change the stations here, another knob. So you have more controls that mm -hmm. you would need to, to, I guess, use. How do you get all of those controls into just the simple gestures? Yeah, it, it, it works um, similar to uh, motion controlled uh, game consoles. Uh, it has an accelerate, accelerometer in the product. Um, so it just works on the same basis. So it just works purely through gesture controls. There's only actually one button on the product, and that's on the back here, Rich, which simply turns it on or off. There's no other buttons on the product. So really, really simple to use. And so in terms of pro, uh, programmed radio stations, you do that somewhere else? Yeah, all you do when you take the product out of the box, Rich, uh, you connect it to your PC or your Mac. Um, you then download the Q2 software from the Q2 website. You've then got a choice of 16,000 internet stations. You simply select your stations and you drag and drop them on. You simply then untether the product and your four stations are preloaded. So you can how many, how many can you? You can preload four stations, okay. so each side of the cube is a station. All right. You can re-tether it to your laptop or Mac at any time and change the stations. Okay. Um, but once you've done it, that's it. All you have to do to switch the product on is turn it up and the product's ready to go. And it's good sound quality for such a small device, right? It's not, uh, it's not that heavy, but it sounds pretty good. Yeah. What I really like about this device is you've got the USB connector here so you can charge it. You've got a headphone jack the on-off switch, but you also have the um, 10 to 14 hour of battery life and it's relatively light so you can take it anywhere. Good. And yeah, it's, it's, it's we, we like to say it's really big sound out of a small box. Now what's the price? Uh, the price in the US at the moment is $119. Okay, so um, if you were to have a system that was more cloud-based where you did everything over the web and you were able to control this, that would probably add some cost to it, right? Yeah, I mean we've got lots of ideas about future products in terms of finish but also in terms of enhancing the functionality as well, Rich. So I think towards the end of the year as we come into season, uh, the product's currently available in five different colors, but I think you'll see new colors and new finishes, but you'll also see some en enhanced functionality in the product as well.